Howdy everybody, today we're back on On Shape. We're going to do the Lego block project just so that we can, uh, um, if you didn't get it done, you can finish it up. So let's start a new uh, document. I'm going to call this the Lego block, if I can spell it correctly, Lego block. And of course, I always put my initials on there so I remember who it is, where it is. And I open up the workspace. Let's see. There we go. Okay. So for the Lego block, um, you know, I always say turn off any planes and views you don't need. And for the Lego block, definitely one of them is um, we don't need the front and the top. We're going to start on the top. So let's go make a sketch and we'll click on our sketch plane here. And then we'll right click, go view normal. And I'm going to create a square. And I'm going to create a center point square. So I start here. I click on the origin and I'll make the square off that. So I'll get pretty close. And this particular square, I'm just going to make it for um, four millimeters. No, I'll just make it. How about we make it 60 millimeters, 60 millimeters and 60 millimeters. Now notice that it changes the, um, it changes the dimension here to 2.362. That's because while we're in millimeters, uh, or sorry, we're in a, we write down millimeters, it's the document itself is in inches, the units. And we can change the units of the document up here where it says document properties. Let's see, right here is document properties, workspace units right there. We can change the units into whatever we want. But what's nice is that Onshape automatically translates it so no matter what we do it's 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 good all right so this is our uh first this is going to be our first sketch our, our quick one and um actually we can we can do some a couple cool uh let's uh make an ex quick extrude and we will click on there we go click on the face there and it's a blind extrusion we will we don't have to go up very far. Let's just go up. Um, let's go up 1.5. Right there. Or we could say something like 40, 45 millimeters. It was 60 millimeters by 60 millimeters. So let's go up 45 millimeters. They're, they're, not, they're not cubes, um, Legos. So there we go. Now we're going to make another sketch. And we're going to choose the top face here, actually right there. And again, we're going to view normal. Now, in order so we know where everything is, we click like this. And I, um, I can project the lines. And you'll see that my lines turn into these blue lines, this, this black line. And if I turn off part one, you'll see that I, I have this square on it. Now, we are not actually going to be drawing those outside lines. We're going to be drawing the little studs that are inside. So let's turn these into construction lines. It'll make our lives much easier. Let's hide part one so we don't have to see it. And then we'll come inside and we'll create a circle. And we'll make this, um, we'll make this guy a uh, diameter. Let's make the diameter um, point. Seven five. Let's see how that looks. Yeah, that looks really good. Okay, I'm gonna hit escape so I don't keep making little circles. I only need to make one, and I'll bring my circle around right here. And now I'll use the dimension tool, this tool right here, and I'll click on the center, and then I'll click on the edge. And you see this little light shows up, and it says point six. So I'm gonna dimension that as a point six. So I'm gonna go with that. And then I'll click again the center. This time I'm going to click on this edge. And this dimension is going to be 0.6 also. So now I'm, I'm you know, my, my um, circle is in the right area. So now I have a couple options. I can... Uh, I want to get this this um, circle. I want to get it here, 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 and here. 
I could use the what's called the linear pattern here. And then I could show it this way. Um, and I could say two times and I can measure the distance here. You notice I can change it like this. I can change its direction. Okay. And I can also kind of grab this and, and kind of move it around. Um, oh, this one, this is what I wanted right there. I could grab this and maybe make a second version of it, right? So I could do this. This could be one solution to my to my um, problem here. And uh, I'll come in here and this is the one I want to change. I'll change this to two. Right now I only have two. Um, and I can clear. And now I have four circles. That's pretty good. Um, but an easier way to do it is to use the mirror tool. Now to do the mirror tool, I am going to need a couple more lines. I'm going to go from midpoint to midpoint. And I know it's a midpoint because of the little, the little, um, constraint that shows up to the side midpoint to midpoint and oops, that one didn't turn out. So when that turns out solid like this, this is going to be a problem. We want to actually turn this into a, a, um, a dotted line. And now um, I can click on this guy, the, the mirror tab, and it says first it says select a mirror line. So I'll click here and it says select entities. So I'll select and my circle pops up on the other side. Then just two. Just two boxes will be good. I'm, I'm full, pretty full. Um, and then I can go one here, two, and they both pop up. Now I've got my four, my four circles, and I solve for the sketch. Now when I extrude, I'll click another extrusion. I can click on sketch two. And notice only the studs are going to show up. Now, stud, these guys need to be, we're not, we're not making brand new parts. We're going to add to part one. All right. And we got to make sure it's solid. We're adding to part one. And I want about a half inch here. And so let's turn on part one so we can see it. There we go. That looks really good. I'll hit enter. So there's our Lego block. And finally, let's try to make a, um, a shell. So I'm going to flip my Lego block over. I'm going to use the shell button right here. I'm going to click on this face. I'm going to remove this face. I've got a nice a thickness of 0.1. We, are, we could probably do 0.25. I'll hit enter here. Uh, that looks pretty good. I like it. All right. And I'll hit enter. Isometric. I'm good. That's my that's my Lego block. Then I'll right click here. Export. And I'm going to write in Lego block. My initials. And I'll make sure that my format is in STL. I'll hit OK. And now I'll attach that to my assignment. Thank you very much.